Hello everybody, and welcome back. This is episode 12 of Miss Muffin Man, playing some Muffin Craft. Season 2, let's go. So today, after that wonky episode 11 where I messed up a bunch of footage, I've made sure now we're recording, everything should be fine. Um, so I've been, one of my favorite blocks from like 1.7 modded was the quarry from Buildcraft. We don't exactly have that, but we have something that does the same thing without like the cool flair of it. And if you've played 1.7, know about the quarry, you know what I'm talking about. Now, we just crafted this guy, the builder block, and it says right here, if I hold shift, this block can quarry areas. Boom! That's what we want. So, to do that, we need a quarry card, which means we need to craft a quarry card, starting with the regular basic one. For that, we need a shape card, one shape card right there, which, you know, is not hard to make. Pretty much everything ready, so, like, we're, we're going, we're doing this. Shape card quarry. Now. This, this alone, right here, if we look in the white text, this will cause the builder to quarry all blocks in the configured space and replace them with dirt. We don't want that. We want it to be gone. So, clearing quarry is what we want, which is the same thing, just surrounded by glass. So now it's a clearing quarry. Amazing. This is um, basically an easy way for us, or not an easy way, but a guaranteed way for us to mine while I'm not mining with the hammer, because we do need this resonating ore to kind of keep coming in, especially if we're going to start using it. So I, I have like 43 now from that big mining area. I'll show you guys what I've been up to down there in just a sec before we go. Um, but I think that was everything we needed. Now I've got storage drawers and stuff, item conduits and stuff, everything ready. I don't think we needed any of the other stuff. I grabbed extras of pretty much everything just so we wouldn't run out. But all the other stuff is stuff we want. Uh, let's see, we do have power cell. This is going to have a loss though because we're not going to be super close to our base here. Uh, but that's fine. That's not a big deal. Um, we do want to grab our our crystal setup here. Pretty sure I can just break all this without any problem. We just need one redstone kind of, yep. Okay, so I'm thinking we go towards this area here. Just kind of create a giant hole right there. Uh, no particular reason. Uh, I think I want to, yeah, we said we're going to build a mountain up to this thing. So this isn't going to be flat land or anything. We can't go here. And then I do want to expand this into a bit of a farm around. But over here seems like a pretty good hole, and we don't, like I said, we don't want to go too far because we are going to incur some power loss, I think. Not sure. We'll see how it goes because we can just use the capacity banks, capacitor banks. Um, but again, we'll see, we'll see. So, and the cool thing about this builder is like, it, you, can have, you can control pretty much everything it does. Hey, look, a Hermitron. We haven't really talked about these this season because I haven't used them, but they're basically shulker boxes. Um, I just haven't really felt the need for them. Just been pretty good with our named bags, and yeah. So like, uh, yeah, not really worried about Hermitron. Maybe we'll once we can fly, I'll go around and collect them or something. Cause, yeah, I don't know. Ultimately, I just added the mod in because I liked uh, shulker boxes more on 1.10, not 1.11. So, no big deal. All right, so we'll start at the top here, I think, and um, just clear some room real fast. There we go. All right, let's, let's get a view of this here. Now you can make it fortune and uh, silk touch as well, but we can't. Like the mod supports it, but I don't have the resources to do that because you're, we need dimensional shards, which we can only get if we build our own dimensions. Okay, so let's set down the builder. Bob the builder, <laughs> nice. Uh, let's eat real quick. And. All right, it, how does it sneak right click on the builder to start mark mode, then right click to mark two corners of wanted area. So I don't even think it has to be like super close to the builder. We just have to now select the first corner. I'm all right, well, we'll, we'll offset it a little bit. We'll say from here, uh, just for testing purposes, let's go to, I don't know how this interacts with going down super far, but oh, okay, what's that? All right. So let's, now I gotta jump back up though. Darn. Oh boy, so many trees in the way. Get out of my way. Die tree. You too. Die trees, die. Oh, this one didn't want to die, okay. And here we go. So now we just shift click that in, yep. And it is on clearing, and it does need power obviously. Um, offset, all right. Yeah, so theoretically I could go underground and tell it to only mark, like, dig out the underground area, but that's not really what we're after this time. So if we put this guy here, does he just start? 
current level not scanning. Okay, but he is draining power, so he has a very large internal buffer. So if we put this guy here, and make sure this is actually, that is receiving. So this guy should be filling up, and side output costs 0.0%. That's interesting, because that's like we're pretty far away now, right? Like we're over here and our other power cells are all over there. I'll have to check the config file. Maybe like output cost is like turned off or something. Alright, it still says not scanning, so maybe it does need a redstone signal. But either way, let's set up the generator right here. With that on top. Um, generator controller. I think I can put that right there. And okay, do we have any blocks we can put this on? Sure, we'll put it on here. I don't know what the distance is that the crystal can be a wave, but not really concerned. So this is good because this will take in all the power. This can hold 5,000 RF per tick. And then this will absorb 2,000 per tick, which is still more than this can produce. So we shouldn't be in like a weird deficit, but who knows. Um, okay, actually, I need this lever back because maybe this thing needs a redstone signal. Ah yeah, okay, it does need a redstone signal. Current level 74. So can we see it doing its job? Mm. Mm, not really. It's t it says it takes about 300 RF per tick. Um, moving blocks make sound, support preview mode. Entities are not allowed. Okay, this is for other stuff I guess. We can add a filter. Power's going up. Is this power going down? This power is going down, but that's because this is going up. So, by level 74, chunk 0, 4. Is it actually doing or is it scanning right now? Uh, let's read. It can pump liquids too, so we might use, use it again later for the, for the other one. Oh, because it's clear, it's a clearing quarry, so we want uh, if I just put a chest next, where'd the chest go? Uh, um, our chest has disappeared. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, we got it back. Okay. Um, let's put it on top, maybe? Oh, here we go. Oh boy, that is, that is quick. Okay. Is there a... Whew. So this has no power now, and this is... <laughs> oh, we're out of power. How is this? Oh, gosh. Okay. We're definitely going to need to upgrade our power like system here. This is awesome. Um, I was going to set up all these drawers, but... Like, how does this work? Does it just go all the way down or something? Or is it, like, does it is it done? I'm so confused. What does it say it's doing now? Nothing. It says it's not doing it. So it took our corner and went to the other corner and cleared everything sort of down to that level, but not really everything in between. Oh, because it's it's a box, so Ah I just uh shift right clicked. Top dome, bottom dome, sphere, cylinder, cap cylinder, prism, torus, whatever a torus is. Solid box. That's what we wanted. Oh, we can even tell just to straight up void this stuff. Oh, that's amazing. Like, it just lets us do that. So if I didn't want cobblestone, which I really don't, I have so much of it already. Dirt we're going to need for our mountain, so I'm not going to void that. Wow. Okay, okay. So now if it's in there, it's going to void cobblestone, so we shouldn't get any more of that. We've turned it back on, and does it have power to do what it needs to do? Power is gaining. We're gaining power. Why are we gaining power? Chunk zero, four, clearing. Well, what are you waiting for? Maybe... No, it doesn't think it's done because it does have progress here. Um, 
I I don't know. Because we definitely saw it like instantly go. Oh, it needs room in here. So yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So just for a second here, let's grab this and put dirt in it. Wait, did it just put cobble? You're supposed to be avoiding cobble. So if we have this set to always active extract, and this set to insert, is this going to go up? Probably not. Alright, so I don't think it's actually voiding the cobblestone, because we're still getting cobble in here. Oh, you know what? It might be a weird interaction where it, like, it, it reads it as stone until it mines it. That might, that might be it. Okay, so what if we just did this instead then? And had it take it... Extract, insert... There we go. So now it'll take dirt out of here. And I'll speed that process along. Wow, look at that though. There we go, that's the start. That's what I'm talking about. And actually, I think it might be done. How much power is it using? Okay, so it has a huge buffer, and that's the re like, what is this? How much is this anyway? How many zeros is this? One, two, three, one, two, three. So this is a 10 million buffer. That's more than we can even hold in here, I think. Yeah, we're only holding 8 million total. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it definitely didn't void cobblestone. So if we do, we want to void stone and cobblestone. That's what we want to do. Uh, let's make sure nothing's coming creeping on us. But that is, this is a very powerful tool. I, it wasn't joking. All right, so what are we gonna get? We're gonna get andesite in polished form. Why is it polished? Excuse me? Where's this polished version coming from? Okay, weird. Um, so we can use this to you like we can set this up to mine. I looked up by the way where resonating ore spawns in our config file. It's between two and thirty Y. So there's really no point in mining the top, but I love giant holes in my landscape. So <laughs> we're definitely gonna make it happen. Um, it's a matter of so now I gotta. How do I tell it how far down I want to go? Do I have to actually be? at the bottom because it knows how it only went down to like that Y level that we designated but maybe we can what is dim 23 16 offset yeah I don't don't know so if we do this oh, I wish it wasn't nighttime right now by the way over there do you see this more and more mobs like this I've been noticing spawn with like full sets of quantum armor from uh from IE, which is like, they have like 40 armor points. It takes me like a million hits to kill them. They're still normal mobs in terms of damage, but like, they just have so much armor. Okay, um, all right, we're just, we're just gonna test something here real quick by using, with the offset thing. Um, so if I tell it to do from here to here. All right, so those are the new settings. Now if I click this, all right, let's, I'm gonna assume it's X, Z, and Y. X, Z, Y. So if I tell this to go to negative, well, no, to go down to, okay, negative, I don't know, 20, eh, 25. And then put it in here. Oh, no, no, I didn't wanna do that. Oh, darn. Do that. I think it's offset from the builder, so it's a four by one. What if we do negative ten? Does that even work? No. Okay, oh, so wait. Hmm. Okay, so what if we do that? So that took us originally down one, and then went down two blocks. So in theory, if I do, oh, right, gotta re-click the, the builder. Oh, oh, darn, we were doing so nicely up here with no mobs coming at us. Okay, so if I wanted this to go to here, 
and then go down 50 blocks. And for the sake of this, let's just avoid that. And then... Holy moly, that's instant. But okay, so that's how we get it to go down. So we just set the corners and then we tell it like go down to Y level zero or whatever. Um, sweet. That's awesome. And it doesn't even use super lots of power. And maybe even if it's avoiding, it doesn't use a lot of power at all. But here's what we're going to do. I need another lever so we can power this with redstone. Unless this just happened to pick it up. <laughs> Didn't. Um, then I'll get us set up here real quick. And then we can see if we can sustain this. All right. Be right back. Okay, real quick, before we head back over there, uh, I just grabbed the lever, cleared up our inventory. I want to show you guys how big this has gotten, because I was pretty busy with it. Uh, if we look at our hammer, it's upgrade twice. I put two stacks of redstone on it. We're at 8.49, and now it needs 18,000 blocks to level up again. So that's when I was like, yep, I'm not going to worry about it. And that's when I looked into the, the builder and the quarry and stuff. Uh, but the main reason I came down here is so I could drop down some cobbles. See, we already have 309 stacks down here, and like we have more over in our other mine and whatnot. But yeah, nice and cleared out. No real reason. Uh, just really like open, clear spaces or something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but this is really cool. This is like a weird ravine going this way, but then there's also like a cave thing going this way, which is from Quark. And these rune these are how you get like the, the runes that color different materials. But it also seemed to be really rich in resources. Like there was emeralds and diamonds just exposed everywhere. So I definitely fortunate those. Uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Um, yeah, we don't need anything else from down here. So let's head back up, run over real quick to the place, and we'll we'll be good to go. I think. All right, here we are. So now we have a second lever, so we can put that one here. And I guess we'll set up a wall of drawers here. God knows I love my walls of drawers. They're such a convenient way to store items. Um, we're definitely going to have a lot of them, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we got 7 more. Oh, we can go all the way across. And maybe later on we'll, we'll somehow get these to, to do something else for us. But, let's see. Uh, one of them is definitely going to be dirt. So, let's empty this one. Oh, yes. Uh, I guess one of them will end up being birch, so may as well. Uh, realistically, let's just take all this stuff out and see, basically assign one to each one. Andesite, granite, polished granite, polished andesite, gravel, limestone, marble, alabaster, um, coal, I don't know if we'll get enough of it to warrant a whole drawer, but for now I guess we'll put it down. Same with like these ores, I don't know if, if it's enough, if it's going to be enough to warrant it. But if it is, whatever. We'll put these two down. Uh, birch definitely because like this whole thing is a birch forest, so that's that's definitely a concern. Uh, where did I? Oh, the chest is right right up here, obviously. Um, can we extract directly from this? Is the question. If that makes sense. Um, what I mean is like, can we just put an item conduit attached to these, and will that work, or will it like fail? Like, will, can it still? function. Oh, I need to make another drawer controller. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, one sec. Alrighty, so we're back. I got the controller. It's right there. And in case I never explained it, all it does is basically it interacts, it, it acts as all of these drawers. So, if I have any items in my inventory, like see how this birchwood is in here? If I double right click, birchwood's gone, and it goes in here. Like, it basically, it knows where to go. So, I'm just locking all these drawers right now, so nothing goes in them. Or so nothing, like, even if we take out all the limestone, it's still going to stay as limestone. And that's just so we can monitor what goes in this chest for uh, for the beginning here. 
and then decide what we want to put in these drawers. Uh, let me eat real quick. What are we up to? I think we're on like jelly. Yep. Let's grab these two jellies. Now we need to decide how big of an area we want to start with, and that's probably going to matter a lot because there's, there's not like a speed setting on this, right? It's just it's always just go zoom zoom zoom. I am going to turn this on though because we do need power. Like we're at zero, our, our system back home was offline. Oh, nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to check how fast this is going up now. All right, so. The energy in this guy is... Oh, because this guy is set to all output. That's not what we want. Uh, we have hunger right now? That's fine. That's from the radiation, by the way, that this thing gives off. Um, yeah, no, it's not good. That's why we don't want to set it up in places where we're going to be standing too often. Uh, let's break that guy real quick. Set this guy to in input. There we go. There we go. That's, that's better. Um... Actually, wait, we have energy conduit, so we could move... No, 640 is not enough. So we need this guy directly ad adjacent here. Um, but that guy's filling up. I don't think it actually makes a difference, but I am going to encase this thing just a little bit to maybe slow down the radiation. I know there's like actual caging for it that definitely slows down the spread of radiation, but I don't really have it, so, you know. We'll make do with what we have here. It's definitely going to look wonky. Uh, and I don't actually know if it does anything. But here's hoping it does. So let's turn that on. And I don't know how close we can stand before we get the hunger effect or how long it has to be on for. But if we look at it, it is draining quite quickly. And we're definitely going to make a second crystal probably next episode from the resonating ore we already have. Uh, but so... It's basically transferring all the power to you, but that's fine, because this thing is filling up like crazy. So now, uh, well, I say we just, we do this area we already started with. Uh, yeah, I can, I can go back around. Alright, so, we're at Y64. So we want to go to... Oh! No, oh, of course, I should have read it the first time. I just was like, yeah, red text, no big deal. Do 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 Gotta go back up here. And... Builder? We have Feather Falling, so it's not a big deal. Plus we have like a ton of hearts. So the water goes to here, so I think I'm only gonna wanna make this go to like here. And... We're definitely gonna avoid the stone. Not gonna avoid the dirt. Um, not at first, at least. Uh, I'll put a void upgrade in the drawer, and that'll void it for us. But let's see, are we gaining power yet? Okay, we're not. So this is off, right? Oh no, didn't want to put that in there yet. We wanted to offset this, because it was only going to go down one. We were at Y64, so we want to offset that by... Let's say... 60? And don't void dirt. Solid box, yes. Excellent. Actually, it tells us how many... Does it say? When you click on this, it tells how many blocks, right? 26,000 blocks. Yikes. Do we have hunger? Yeah, we do have hunger. So we don't want to stand super close. Alright, we really can't stand close at all. But, alright, so dirt's what we're going to get, like, a ton of in the beginning. So let's put a diamond upgrade in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 not the emerald upgrade as well. Give me that back. And then we'll put a void upgrade in. So basically, if it gets more dirt than it can handle, it just destroys it. It'll let it go in, and then destroy it. Um... Alright, we are gaining power now, so that's awesome. But what happens when I turn this on? Alright, I just flipped the lever. Does that mean it's actually doing its thing? Does it just need a redstone pulse? What does it say it's doing? It says it's scanning, right? Can't tell if it's doing anything. Current level 69. Did we make it go up? Hmm, maybe. Because why level 69 is like... Yeah, that's up. We start at 64. Um... 
I'm gonna turn this off for a hot minute. Um, this is on. Um, ah, that actually scared me. <laughs> okay. Uh, why is it always night? Um, how do we how do we do this? I thought we. So I click on this. We go over here. And then we change this to like five. Put it in here. Set that to on. Y level 82, which is, did it just clear like the below? No, it didn't. Okay, so maybe we do need an actual chest on it. Maybe you can't extract directly from the side, but maybe you can extract from the top. Let's, you know, let's, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Just disable that. Nothing went in here. Disable that. Ugh, what is this? Disable that. Extract, always active, on. Did it do a thing? It didn't do a thing. Okay, so we do definitely need a chest on there. I would rather not, but that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. Because the problem with the chest being on there is it's, we're gonna be limited by how fast our conduits can extract from the chest. And that's, that's mainly what I was trying to avoid. Um, so, break, break, this and this. And yeah, it now it did the thing. Okay, so maybe we had it set up right and it was just because we didn't have a chest on there. So we do want to extract, always active. Now that dirt should have only gone in here. Nothing should be in this chest right now. What is... Oh, we're starving to death. Uh, this toast sandwich, please. Yeah, really don't want to stand near this radiation, so we want to set this up and then just leave. <laughs> Alright, let's just eat real quick. And let's get a toast ready just in case we get hungry. Oh, hello creeper, do not blow up near anything here. By the way, this is a looting sword. This is not the sword we were usually using. This is a sharpness for looting three ender we got. Pretty neat. Um, okay, so that's that's in there. Nothing's in here. Uh, we need to grab this. And we need to once again mark this area out. Okay. Not a big deal. Oh no, I forgot to click on the, on the builder again. Oh man. This is supposed to be a uh, easy, quick episode, and I just keep messing it up, so it's probably going to be longer than I even intended, or longer than it should be. To here, and then we said the water is over there, so we'll just go to here. Sweet. Now let's try this one more time, offsetting it by like 50. And there's a radiation monitor, by the way, you can get. So we say, we said like 55 or whatever. Void that. And if we give this the old flick of the wrist. Do I have speed upgrades? No, I only have item filters. We'll have to make some speed upgrades for this because this is not going to be fast enough. Yeah, this is not, this is not happening. <laughs> It's like barely extracting the dirt, so... I mean, that would that would throttle our power consumption, is basically it'd be how fast this thing can keep up putting items in. But let's take a look at how... Ooh, okay, yeah, I mean, this thing is... This thing clears insanely fast, so like, I can't expect one item conduit to keep up with it. And yes, yeah, as, as soon as we like, shuffle it around to make room... We're even gonna get surge scores from this, that's awesome. I'm so glad we're avoiding stone though, like, if we weren't, this would be ridiculous. So if I take all the alabaster out, and then right click, just kind of help it along. Uh, 
Uh, it's doing pretty well. I mean, we're getting a ton of resources. Like, look at this. We already have over a stack of iron. And charged service course and stuff. This is it's pretty neat, actually. How much power is it draining, though? Like, now that it's throttled, not really a lot. We also have our power off, so... It's definitely draining a ton of power per tick. I'm I'm conflicted because we I don't want to keep this set up here. This isn't a good place to put it because we don't want to keep it on all the time. This is really no good way to monitor it. So we have to build. Maybe that's why I can put underground in that mine. We can just create like this huge anti radiation chamber. <laughs> that seems like a good idea, right? What a, like that's what you do in real life. You just, in, in, anything that has to do with radiation, you just slap it underground. No one will care. So, but for now, let's turn that on again. And then turn this off. Does that mean it's going to keep doing its thing? I don't think it is. Hey, get out of here. I'm trying to record an episode. Alright, so with this off, is this even extracting? Or is this somehow like powering this cable as well? For sure I was set to like always active though. Uh, now I gotta go around. We definitely need that anti-radiation stuff, though. Yeah, it's set to always active, so this shouldn't be a problem. We really shouldn't have run through that. <laughs> See, is the hunger getting refreshed when we stand back here? It is. Okay, so we're too close. Um, this thing is gaining power, though, however... I don't see any of these numbers going up, though, so why isn't this extracting right now? Birch saplings went in here. I'm actually confused why this isn't extracting now. Like, nothing's going out. But if I turn this on... Is it then extracting, or...? Hmm... Like, it should be taking out the dirt, I'm so confused. Did it just, like, finish? Is it done? It, it actually finished. Okay. So, off that. Off that. Although, actually, no. We need this on still. Now, why is this not extracting? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, guys. Uh, and then we'll probably set up, like, a new crystal, new radiation. We'll do a bunch of more deep resonance stuff next episode. Um, either way, I'm going to figure this out. Get to the bottom of it. I think I'm going to call the episode here, though, guys. I've talked a lot. We did a lot of stuff with the quarry. We learned a lot. Um, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. This has been episode 12, guys. So next episode will be 13. <laughs> Look forward to it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.